Okay, where are we and what are we doing? Well, I'm leaving Zelena, heading up to uh, Green Mountain. Little Hugh is uh, on the server and on TeamSpeak, and is currently up in the northwest and generally heading south. So I'm generally heading north, and he's generally heading south. And I've been messing with my settings. Now, Little Hugh had an interesting thing to say. He was saying that he discovered somewhere that um, you should keep post-processing on. Because it's part of the way the game tells you about your health state. So I'm going to try that for a little longer. Um, blurry vision, for instance. I mean, in Armour 2, I always turn post-processing off. In DayZ, I always turn post-processing off. In Armour 3... I discovered that you actually need to keep post-processing on. Ooh, bag of rice, that's a good thing. Eat the whole thing, make sure you have a lot to drink afterwards. Oh, well, I've got no water on me right now, so I'll, uh, I'll save it. Yeah, Put save it till your next draw water source. So anyway, yeah, um, in Armour 3, the post-processing sort of tells you about your health state and your condition. And it's also true in in Daisy. Are you Kevin? What was that? Did oh, you say? Sorry, I, I said, "Hi, you Kevin." That's the cat. He's just come and sat in front of my screen, so I can't see, which is lovely. Kevin the cat. Y yeah, we didn't name him. You have a cat called Kevin. And mind you, I can't say a bloody thing. I've got a cat called Fred. <laughs> yeah, well, our, I don't know if you know, our, our other cats have all been... Any animal that we've had, basically, has been named after, um, like, a famous musician. So we have Marley, who's named after Bob Marley. Um, and we have a cat called Floyd, who's named after Pink Floyd. Uh, and we had we had a cat called Phil, who was was named after Phil Morrison. Okie dokie well, then. You, you, yeah, you kind of get the idea, right? But uh, so when we got, we didn't really have like, and like we couldn't really think of a name for him, <laughs> like a, like a musician's name. We couldn't really link it to a musician's name. So my dad googled famous Kevin's. Turns out the bassist in I don't know something like Genesis or something. It was called like Kevin Summers. So yeah. Kevin is a good name for a bass player. Oh yeah, of course. I can imagine him with a big stash. Kevin the cat. Ooh, bandages. Painkillers. Yeah. Oh, apparently painkillers don't do anything. Not oh, yet. Really? I, th I thought they did. No, apparently they don't. I was watching a pro, uh, watching a video about. Uh, the health and what medical supplies do what, basically most of it doesn't work. Because the wounding and the sum of the sickness doesn't isn't modelled, there's no point having quite a few of these things. Alright. Bloody gates. Bandages don't seem as as useful as they once were because of the whole ripped t-shirt thing. Yeah, you can stack more t-shirts. You see, there will come a time when a t-shirt will be dirty and therefore give you an infection. But at the moment, no. Well, the game is in alpha, so you know. Yeah, I mean, some of these things are going to change as well. I mean, there's got. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm currently making video, so, but. There are things we're going to say that aren't going to make sense if you're watching the video six months later. So like vitamins apparently don't do anything either. Oh, you gave me some of those in the day and were like, eat these, yeah. they're good for you. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I thought. I didn't know. It's bollocks, apparently. Did you say there was going to be something good on the top of this roof? Uh, not on the roof, but on the uh, top the top floor. The top floor bed uh, room always used to be called the treasure room. Oh, well, that was where I found me painkillers. That's uh, like maybe from the pre.
pre-alpha, I got a bit uh, obsessed by that top room. Oh, there's a, there's a handgun in here too. And in the spot, but I've already got one, so I don't really need it. And some shotgun shells, which are useless. <laughs> Shotguns are coming. I know, but I might as well not carry them around right now. Yeah. There's the dev branch. Apparently, if you play on that, you can find that new city up in the northeast. But getting on the dev server is really difficult. Also, I imagine it'll be full of people. Oh, yeah. And people are your enemy. Do you know if there's a water source in this town that I'm at? What, that's the the one with the terminal? Uh, yeah. Don't think there is. There is one further south at Lapatino. Alright, I'm heading south then. Well, it's sort of south, southeast. <coughs> is that where you're coming from? Where, no, what I'm doing is I'm going... Um, I've just done Green Mountain. So I'm going to the military base to the north, uh, which is to the east of Vibor. <coughs> so if you go Lapatino Vibor, Vibor's not a bad town, I'll meet you Vibor. Right, I'm definitely going to get lost here, like. If you go to Lapatino, mm. and then head south east, you should come to Vibor. Alright, so I'm heading southeast from here, and then when I hit the next town, southeast again. Yeah. Vibor's a pretty right. big town. It's it's got quite a lot of stuff in it. I just found the cantina. Eh, uh, do some items hold more water than others? Like the cantina can hold more than the water bottle. Uh, the canteen holds more than the water bottle. Alright, so it's better to have two cantinas and two water bottles. Yeah. Or you can have two canteens and two water bottles. Yeah, which is what I've got at the minute. They're all empty though. The thing is, that apparently, because you... Because the, um... The mechanic of getting poisoned by water doesn't work. You don't have to put you don't have to put um, water purification tablets into water from a pond, and you can drink from water from the pond. Ah, right. Okay. Now, when they turn the mechanic on, then obviously you're going to have to do the whole watch out for dodgy water. But at the moment, there is no dodgy water because there is no. There uh, is no sickness, yeah. There is no associated sickness, yeah, you're right. So now, pretty much at the moment, you can drink from anywhere. Well, that's alright. But it's going to change. I was looking for it um, before when I first started DZ, like when I didn't really know the map very well. I've kind of forgotten most of the map, actually, to be honest. But when I didn't know the map very well before, I uh, used to run around with a map on my second monitor. Um, yeah. But I couldn't find one for Daisy Plus. Or uh, Chernarus Plus, sorry. Yeah, they are. They do exist. There was a really nice one I had for the mod, and it was uh, it had all of the like it had the loot spots. Like so, all of the they had like green ones for military, and then like red ones for. Um, that other thing, it's called yeah. Common. Yeah. It was really good, actually. I sort of have this mental map. Ah, yeah. Well, I did eventually, and I knew all the best places to hit. I mean, back in the day, obviously, though, there was only really you'd go uh, Cherno, Electro, Starry, Airfield, Die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. You might hit, you might hit, um, the one that we always used to go to. I forget what it's called. Belota? No. Berezino up in the top, up in the north? Middle, middle left of the map. Far left. The Z. I'm heading there right now. Alright. Oh, you were coming from there. Oh, uh, Zelena. Zelena, that's the one. I mean, Zelena wasn't that great a location. We liked it because it was fairly quiet. Yeah, this town that I'm heading to has got a church, right? Yes. Yeah, I can see the church from here. It's also got one of those big red barns as well. That's how you know it's Lapatino. Are there any supermarkets involved still? 
There are supermarkets, but supermarkets are really, really poor at the moment. Oh man, they were one of the better places to go. Yeah, I, I, I wa re watched one of my old videos from about a year and a half ago. And although obviously very few buildings are enterable, the ones that were enterable had so much loot. And you look at it from the point of view of from playing Daisy standalone and you think, Jeepers, that really was very different back then. Yeah. But the other thing as well is there was a lot more stuff that was like useless. Like so you go in and there'd be like loads of empty tin cans and that. Whereas now you could probably put water in an empty tin can. Well, maybe one day, but not at the moment. I remember having to. I'm approaching a pond right now. I remember we used to always look underneath the water to see if there was a, a tent. Yeah, I used to look in stones and in trees and that. <laughs> Alright, I'm at this town. Yeah, you're at Lapatino. Yeah, can you remember whereabouts the water source is? Pretty much in the middle. Oh, it it, would be in, in between, middle, in between, it? in between two large houses. All right, sweet. Slowly getting used to the idea of playing with um, post-processing on. I just don't like the way that things look a little sort of vague. It's like I'm running, I'm walking around without my glasses on. Yeah, I don't like the, um, everything's got a weird shiny tint. Actually, I think that might be because I put on a little bit of bloom, but like, just like the edges of buildings and stuff are like shiny. Mm. It's part of the HDR. I must say, it must, must annoy the, the people who make the games, because they have all these lovely features to make the game look pretty, and we turn them all off, because I don't like that. Yeah, I imagine so. Piss me off, like. But if they give us a reason to have them on, I mean... God, when I play Battlefield, I have every bit of eye candy turned up to the absolute max. Right, I'll be at the um, new military base uh, near Vibor in about uh, three, three, four minutes. And once I've looted that, I'll be heading to Vibor. Which, once you've got your water, is roughly where you should be heading. Yeah, I'm just filling up on water now. I'm heading southeast again, aren't I? Yes. Right. Possibly a little more easty. I'm trying to remember the map. Hang on, I could always look at a map, I've got a map. Hold on a second, let's <laughs> find a convenient um, thing to hide behind whilst I go look at my map. Uh, Alright, so I can eat all this rice and then just drink loads of water, right? Yep. Right, uh, Vibor is, um, it's not directly east, but it's not, uh, southeast. It's more east-southeast. You'll see it, it's a big chuffing town. I probably hate these raw rice like. As it stands at the moment, from what I understand, it's the most uh, calorie-intense food in the game. So it's going to give me the most energy, then? That's right. Oh, yes, I've got the healthy thing! Woohoo! Yay! Basically, what happens is, once you, if you're healthy, and your food and blood level and your energy is high, you are more robust, you are less likely to be badly injured or incapacitated by an injury. Okay. So if you get slapped by a zombie when you've got very low health and very low blood, 
uh, the chances of you being knocked out or killed is very high. But if you're extremely healthy because you're very, very well fed, um, you'll get attacked by a zombie and it'll be a, a mere inconvenience. Alright, that's cool. I've still got some rice left. I don't know whether I should just eat it all. Yeah, eat it till your stomach says it's full. I still haven't got that message yet. You, you haven't eaten or drunk enough. I've eaten fucking loads. I've eaten like 19 tins of beans. I knew if I was actually eating those as a person, I'd be full from, you know. Oh, yeah, you, you'd be like laying on the ground going, uh This guy's just got hollow legs. <laughs> yeah, he has hollow legs. Because you can get the full status just by drinking. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the things I do when I um, first hang on. When I first uh, get spawn in as fresh spawn, find a water source, drink so much you to the point where you're almost sick. You can then survive for quite a while. Hey, I just got the the message as I took the last swig from my cantina. It said my stomach feels completely full. It'll take a while to digest that. Anything worth looting here, do you think? Well, you can pick up a little bit of food if you want to, but uh, just make sure your canteens are full. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. I've got two full water bottles and two full canteens, right, so now I'm heading southeast. Yep. Got to keep looting. Ah, defibrillator. Apparently they don't do anything either yet. No bloody zombies, which again makes me suspicious. And some charcoal tablets, they apparently do some work if you've got mild food poisoning. Yeah, my, uh, my friend that went off to uni the last summer. Uh, just message me, he's uh, bought Daisy. Haha. <laughs> but uh, he got a game laptop for, like, for going to uni, and uh, he bought Daisy, and basically he's been playing the shit out of it. So he was just asking me if I'd found a long range scope for the Mo for the Mosin yet, and I was like, yep, found one yesterday, but my other friend got it instead. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, he was, he was very mad. He's been looking for one for like four days. 
Tell him to go up to the airfield. Yeah, that's where he is. He was asking me if we wanted to go up to the airfield and meet up in about 90 minutes, but I said we were heading to V-Bar. I mean, we can go if you want. I've got to keep an eye on the time because there are things I've got to do today. Oh yeah, that's cool. I've got some... Uh, I'm going outward a bit later tonight and I've got an essay question I've got to do before then. Really suspicious, although it doesn't look like any of these buildings have been looted. I can't see any bloody zombies. The zombies are really scarce. I only saw one zombie in this whole town. Yeah, maybe they've turned them down. Ooh, just heard one. Ex-zombie. Another M16. Sorry, not M16, M4. I keep on calling them M16s. I really love the modelling in this. Like how I've got a bunch of stuff on my gun so it like actually appears on it. Really nice. Yeah, the only downside is sometimes they they appear to disappear. If that makes sense. Uh, no. <laughs> when If you're in third person and you've got the weapon slung over your shoulder, some yeah. things will continuously disappear on you. Not like actually disappear from your inventory, you just disappear no, no. from your... No, no, they gun. flash on and off. Ah, right. And it's a tad annoying. Some of the ambient noises in this game, I know how many thousands of times I've heard them, but they still freak me out. There's an ambient noise that sounds like something large and metal is being dropped or knocked over. Mm hmm. I wonder why. And it sort of freaks me out every time. I really like the ambient noises for just, you know, like running through the wilderness. Like bees flying past your ear and that. Yeah, that... Oh. Birds tweeting and such. It also sounds like there's a rattlesnake. There are some very odd noises. I've never really noticed them actually just sitting and listening, but there was like a bird tweeting and then there was like a like a well, occasionally you hear what sounds like, I don't know, what's it sound like? Sounds like, um, you know, corrugated tin? Or something yeah. like that, blowing over in the wind. Huh. What, like when you're out in the woods, or? What well, happens all over the place? I'm coming up to a big, um, a big clump of trees. Well, that's descriptive. <laughs> yeah, well, I headed roughly south, southeast from. No, it's east southeast. Ah, oh, okay. I'll More east than south. Right, okay. I may have given you a bum steer then. I mean, it's oh, a big okay. old town. I don't think I'll. Uh, I don't think I'll miss it. Like. No, you it won't. It seems like a massive clump of trees with like a big mountain in it. <laughs> if that helps. That sounds like you're approaching the tip, which means you've gone past V-Ball, which no, can't happen. No, there's a there's a weird shed thing here. It's not it's like a shed thing, but it looks like a like a dog hutch. <laughs> Tiny. Cool. 
eat all the things. Managed to pick up a spare tin opener. I've got three of those yellow boxes as well now. Nice. Still looking for a better scope for my um, M4. Which one do you have on? I have the M68 Comp M2 Optic. Whatever that is. Battery powered, non-magnifying red dot. Yeah, Reflex light. Some sort of, I don't know, T3N RDS optic? I have no idea which one's... I think yours is better, right? I don't know. It doesn't magnify. This one doesn't magnify either. The only one that does, I think, is the... Um, oh god, get my brain into gear. The... Um, one for the Mosin or...? Well, there's one for the Mosin that does, and there's the... Because you've got that in your backpack, don't you? Because I, I found that and said that yeah. you wanted it to. But I'm trying to remember the name of the... My brain's completely turned to mush. Um, ACOG? ACOG, that's the one. Now, the thing is, an ACOG in real life is a full-time magnification, but in the game it isn't. Oh, right. God, you've got to eat a lot of baked beans and bloody uh, spaghetti to get full. Yes, yes you do. I think it was the rice that tipped me over the edge, like. Yeah. I mean, I ate some rice about three quarters of an hour or half an hour ago. I'm kind of hoping that possibly you'll be able to, like, cook it in the future and it'll be worth more. Like, possibly cook, like, the beans and stuff as well. Yeah, well, we've got pots and there is, there is a, the, you can buy the, you can find the butane and you can find the, um, thing and you can, at the moment, combine them all together. So you put the, the, the butane burner on the, bu the blue butane bottle uh, and you can set fire to it and you can light it, turn it on, click, 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 bang, and you get this little blue flame. So it's all animated, the link is there. And you can put the pot on top, but at the moment you can't put anything in the pot. All oh, right. So some well, of the mechanic is there, or not? Yeah, I imagine you'd be able to just, you know, pot beans in there, cooked beans, much better for you than just cold beans, and then yeah. pour rice in there, pour water in there from your cantina, boom, cooked rice, much better for you than just rice. I I can see a uh, um, white shed with a red roof. I think that's near Vibor, if I Might remember be. memory serves me correctly. I can see what looks like the edge of an F, uh, what looks like the edge of a military base as well. There's like the big grey walls. Ah, now that is that is the airfield. You may want to skirt that a little bit. All right. Because you basically you've gone from Lapatino to Vibor, which means you've skirted to the south of the airfield. Alright, yeah, 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 I remember now. I am now really full. Is there animation for being sick yet? Yes. Does it change depending on what you've got in you? Like, if you've just no, got I don't water, think is it just liquid? I don't think it's that clever. Oh, that would be really cool. <laughs> Don't think you can kill them yet, because there's no you can't ca you can't carve them up and eat them. So it's weird that they have quite a lot of that stuff in the mod, but then they haven't transferred it to the S like to standalone yet. 
Not yet. It's taken them a long time. Working, really. Yeah, there's some of the fundamental things uh, that make the standalone different from the mod that had to be changed, and that has taken. That's what took them the time. This whole business of the network bubble. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That took a long time to get sorted. Yeah, I guess that's the thing that people often forget. Like, it's not just as simple as cut and paste. Like, they've they've basically turned what was an addition to a game into a game. <laughs> yeah, into its own thing. But they've changed some of the the fundamental mechanics um, of Armor Two, and yeah, there's 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 a bit more to this. There aren't many people on this server. I might go hit the airfield. Well, let's meet up meet up in Vibor first, and we can go there together. I can't remember where the where the airfield uh, where the Vibor is from the airfield. South. It's not far, is it? No. Does Vibor have the um, factory building with like a tower? Yep. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm coming in behind that one. Yeah, me too. In fact, I'll meet you at the factory building. All right. That's that bloody noise that spooks me out. Apparently you're going to be able to eat berries. Wow. I would love to have a have a character that I just, you know, hit a couple of military places, get a gun, and then just head into the wilderness and just stay in the woods like a, like a huntsman. <laughs> That's basically how I used to play the game. Um, the thing about the berries is apparently you've got to learn which berries you can eat and which berries are poisonous. Ah, right. So don't be eating any berries. I am in the garagey looking thing. On my way to you now. With the two big blue doors. I used to hide a tractor in one of these in the mod days. Yeah, it's where Gado always used to park. About to come in through the door. Hello. So how are you doing for water? Was a uh, rabbit. I'm I'm pretty good. I've got two, three, four full cantinas. Well, no, two full cantinas and two full water bottles. Right, give me half a sec. Um, because. I want to roll the fag, and we can uh, trot on up to the airfield. Alright. I want a more camouflaged bag, because I've still got this freaking luminous green thing. I mean, I, I don't actually think it's as bad as I thought, but it's still pretty bad. It's very green. Right, ready to trot on? Alright, let's go. I'm gonna get rid of this gas mask as well. When I find one of the payday masks, I'm gonna put that on. Possibly. Yeah, I find a helmet, because apparently a helmet can save you from a bullet, so... Oh, well, I've got this, this helmet on that you... Well, it's the same one that you've got on. Yeah, that backpack is quite bright. Yeah, it is. Especially noticeable if I was running in front of you, considering I've got a massive green patch on the back. And of course you can't look over your shoulders, which is on a first-person server is a pain in the tail. Eh, it's not that bad. I mean, you can still see most of it, I guess. There is a large section that is cut out, though. Just gonna nip over to this pond and take a drink. Yeah, I'll join you, I guess. I feel like the word healthy should be in green. Like, you know how thirsty well, is in Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Well, 
my stomach feels stuffed. And I drank about half a dozen times. If you go up north, there are ponds there without any water in. Can you drink from them? Unfortunately, no. And there's oh. very, there's very, very little water up north, so... Uh, I imagine they'll probably add some in. Oh yeah, I mean you can see it's coming. You can see where these large ponds are and there's... And it, it's a pond with no water. It would be nice if they added like loot and stuff in ponds. And not like maybe like... Like just like a floating raft or something. Not, not, not a raft. I don't know, maybe... How about, how about they just put bloody fish in and fishing poles? Well that would be awesome as well. Be cool if you could fish with your handgun. <laughs> fish with dynamite? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you watch any of those like programs about like hillbillies in America, and you know they're like they take like a mini gun to the to the lo their local lake and just like tear it up, wait until the fish float to the top. Yeah, and or it's the Australians. You're crouched, but no, you're not. Are you crouched? Yeah, you were. Yeah, I was. I was keeping yeah. you though. Yeah, the, you're going to go uh, dynamite fishing. That would be cool. Chuck a hand grenade in the, into the water. All the fish bob to the surface. You just go up and pick them all out. Yeah, that would be cool. Or if there's like a, some sort of cattle prod, you know, you could just like dip the cattle prod end into the water and electrocute them all. Yep, that would work. I wonder if they're going to add cattle prods as like a sort of non-lethal weapon. I don't know, but there, there, there is... Because I imagine if a lap you would want it, not you unconscious like. There is talk of the um, stat, the uh, defibrillator doing that. That would be cool. It would be a good use for that. Because I, I like the idea of people sort of forming police, but with kind of like like post-apocalyptic police forces, you know. So like me, you, Gado, and Pip, and me, Dad, all turn into like you know, get handcuffs and go and stop bandits from killing poor innocent people. You know, knock them unconscious, handcuff them, and drag them to our secret lair where we. Well, I don't know. Would kill them, I guess. <laughs> yes, feed them, feed them, my pretty. Yeah, we could kill them really slowly and awfully, though. You know, by like feeding them. That's uh, feed uh, no, I, uh, yeah. Not I'm, much. I'm not into all that stuff. It's a bit sick. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is a bit sick, but it would be cool, though. It would be. It's like it just. It's just awesome. I just love how it turn out, really. We have zeds. Should we just take them out, or? Oh bollocks, I hit the wrong button. Can you go in that one over there? No, you can't, can you? No. Ooh, what are you? Right, there's the same scope I have in here, and it's in pristine condition. Do you want that one and I'll have to take the one that's on yours? I'll just compare them and see which one I like better. I mean, this one I've got is quite nice. Right, I'll just grab the pristine one, but um, you can go grab it if you want. Ooh, boots. Same as the one I just got on, only this one, like, texture looks a little cooler. It's got, like, some buttons and knobs and stuff to the side. The other one was smooth. Smooth. Right, that's this one done. Aye, there was, there was fuck all in the first two rooms. Hey, you missed the ammunition. Ah, yeah, but I've got so much ammunition pen at the start of World War Two. Three, even. Right, I'm gonna go across the two-story military. I heard a zombie. 
Yeah, me too. No idea where I was though. Dead. Dead. Nice. I keep on hearing myself back through your speakers. Ah oh, yeah, sorry, it's when I activate my microphone it does it a little bit. Bunch of stuff up here. Fire rocks, boots, a pen. <laughs> There's a pristine firefighter's act up here if you want it. Don't know what condition yours is in. Mine's pristine. Oh yes! Pants that are much better than mine. Well, the green for a start. Oh, actually, I don't know if they are better. Hmm. Yeah, your spare can opener. Right, I'm gonna go and have a look across the runway, see what I can see, see if there's anyone over there. Alright, no problem. <coughs> Right, going for a trot across. Let's assume there's no one here. And I don't die. I'm amazed the last time we came here I didn't die. I'm probably going to die this time. Ah, well don't go alone. At least if you die then I can kill the guy. Or if I die then you can kill the guy. Well come on then. Where are you? I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm just coming out of the two-story building. You headed right, didn't you? I'm heading towards the first of the um, hangars. Are you just sprinting across the? Uh, I walk see you. Field? Well, not sprinting. I'm just walking, trotting along. Yeah, I see you. I'm about 200 yards ahead. Yeah, yeah, I got you. See a zombie. This is about as far as you can get from um, any kind of spawn now. Yeah, it's all be here and survived a little while. Yeah. Although to be fair, the server is quite empty. There's only four other guys on here apart from me and you. Yeah, let's hope they're all uh, down south. <coughs> I don't mind, I'd actually quite like a player interaction. I want to shoot yeah. someone. <laughs> Well, I'm so used to playing with Pip, and Pip and I just don't shoot people. Yeah, well, I mean, it would be nice to, you know, meet some people and not shoot them. That's also nice too, but... <laughs> Alright, I'll hit the second hand then if you're getting that one. Oh, hello. Find something nice? 
What did you get? Suppressor. Nice. For the M4, the pistol. M4. Don't think it does anything yet. Well, attach it and have a look. No, I mean, it attaches, but it doesn't do anything. Ooh, hello. What have you found? An aircock score. Oh, you lucky bastard. Oh, shit, though. <laughs> oh, is it damaged? Yeah, yeah damaged the fuck. Oh. Oh, that's so <coughs> bad. Just go and tease me like that, you bastard game. Was yeah, that you? That, that was me, sorry. That's okay. There's, um, there was talk, hang on, you still, yeah, there yeah, was, sorry. there was talk some time ago, uh, during the pre-alpha, of the possibility of being able to repair things, and, and we sort of came up with a good model where you would have to go to a particular place, to a workshop, right. and yeah. you would have to have the book. Ah, right, okay, the, the, like, the, like a manual for the thing. Yeah, so that would work. You'd have to have the manual so you had the knowledge, and you'd have to have the tools, maybe? Yeah, that would be cool, like the pliers and the, the hammer and the spanner or whatever. Is there any other ones? I don't know if there's any other ones. I thought we were doing every other one. Sod it, I'll do the next one then. <laughs> Sorry, I spotted the boot, I was coming to get the boots. <laughs> I just take those off, they're smelly and horrible. Ooh, a PU scope. It's for the uh, thingy, isn't it? I see zombies running towards us. Got one. I think my ammo is finally full. Got the other one. Give me a shot if there's anything interesting in there that you don't want. No, nothing yet. Nice shot. Thanks. <laughs> you take this one, I'll take the next one. Yeah. Yeah, hunger. Ghostless. It's funny, we're all the way up here, you know, like, looking at all this, like, weaponry and being like, ah, yeah, it's useless, uh, we don't need that, ah, uh, we don't need that either, and then, like, people down south of the map would be, would kill to be here right now. There's two pistols in this one building. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a case you think, oh, no one's looted this very well, and then you realise, actually, no, they just didn't want any of this shit. Yeah, there was shit all in there. There's a pristine bipod in here, if you want a pristine one. <coughs> Ooh, already got a, hello! Already got a pristine bipod. You find something else nice? I'm gonna head into this uh, tech building. There is a worn long range scope here. There was a pristine one, but I had that and swapped it for my worn one. Sorry, nice. did you go into the fire station or the. Um, the tech building? The. the what's it called? What's control the tower. Control tower, yeah. Right, yeah, sorry, tech building is a particular building. Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? This is not no. what this one's called. No, that's the control tower. We'll be doing that to him later. Mm, 
we don't need another one. Just realised I've not got my gun out. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> An M91 bayonet, it's like as long as my gun is. Yeah, that's the bayonet. Ooh! That might be useful to you. Shall I, what, the bayonet? No, th I've just found a yellow box. Alright, uh, there's a zombie running in towards you now, I'll just take a shot. Okay. Got him. Still haven't found a bug I want. Slightly depressing. Oh, by the way, when you're on that uh, control tower, mm. if you need to go up to the roof, this, this yeah. is what it is. The roof is domed, and the objects hide under the floor. All oh, right. Okay. So there might be stuff in the middle of the roof. Then. Yeah, there may be items in the middle of the roof. I just stand there and hit tab will they show up on the vicinity. Yeah, if you if you kneel down. But you see the way that roof is 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 like a dome shape. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's enough of a dome in the middle to hide items. There, nothing up here. Okay. Well, there's one of those yellow um, boxes. Uh, on the second or third floor of the um, fire station. I'm going along to the uh, two-story military. I've got a yellow uh. box already. <coughs> Should I get another one? I mean, I've well, got, you I've can got if you want to. I mean, I've, I've got, got three. Ammo I've got two ammo boxes in there. Oh, well you got two two ammo boxes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought one was going to be enough. Well, one probably is enough, but uh, yeah. <laughs> that was you shooting, right? Yes, it was me shooting a zombie. And another. Uh, I'm heading to the next building that we went to the other day. I forget what okay. it's called. I think it's a two-story military, actually. Yeah, that's the one I'm in. So which one's the tech building then? Because I thought that that was the tech the build. The tech building actually has tech written on the outside. Uh, I see. And as far as I know, there aren't any tech buildings in this area. Still not seen any of those um, nice backpacks. No, neither of us. There's a ceiling bug here. Yeah, I've got quite a fair bit of medical. I've been down through that bit. <coughs> oh, was there anything here? Not a lot. Some ammo. So uh, my ammo box must be full. Right, I'm trotting along. Oh, hang on, Zed. They don't seem to respi respond to gunshots in the way they used to. Nah, they don't all like turn and go and like run at you. Although I've just had one turn up. Where is he? Oh, he's behind. Is there anything useful upstairs? Uh, a couple of items, but whether you find them useful or not, I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. Ah, uh, well, I'm looking for ammo at the minute, mainly. Right, I'm doing the barracks. I have 
so many, like, cans of drinks. <laughs> Drink them all till your stomach's full. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Ooh, another battery. You know, I don't think I've got my torch from the beginning anymore. No, it's one of the first things I get rid of. Um, I must admit, I haven't played on a night server in such a long time. And it's not a case that I'm deliberately trying to avoid night servers. It's just that um, I'm going to wait in a bush till you catch up because you're running a bit behind. <coughs> I think the servers are restarting and setting back to whatever time it was that they were. So they're continuously paying the same four hour period over and over again. Ah, right, see. I, th I think if I got a server, I'd, I'd deliberately make it so that it was, like, so that when it restarted, it remembered when when it was that you played up to. So, for example, if you play from 1 till 4, then it restarts at 4, so that all the loot comes back. But then it jumps back in at 4, so then you play 4 till 8. Yeah. You know? It's just a finding a nighttime server. I mean, some servers are set to 24 hour, or permanent night. See, I don't know if I'd like to play on a permanent night server. The dawn and the dusk is really impressive. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, they're, they're good nice times to play at as well, because, like, players aren't normally about. Then the other thing as well is I don't know if there's actually any night vision in this game still. Uh, I'm out the building, by the way, I'm heading further up the there. Okay. okay. I don't know whereabouts you are. Pretending to be a, uh, a tree um, by the um, next lootable of place, which is the barracks. Alright, I'm still miles away from that. Well, you can't be miles away from it. Well, I'm not miles away, but I'm a little bit further away than, than I would like to be. Got to pass the little bit of industrial. I hear you, you just ran past me. Yeah, that'll be me. There you are. Hello. I don't know why I lay down. <laughs> oh, the building, this building's been looted. Well, yes, I'm here. Oh, did you loot this building and then go and be a bush? Yes. Alright, oh, see. Right, shut it then, I won't check that out then. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bush, I'm a bush, I'm a bush. That's slightly worrying the way you run at me with your bloody bayonet attached. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you can do anything with it yet, but uh, I think rifle butt would be a good one. It would be funny if I could accidentally run over and stab you with it, like. <laughs> if I had just accidentally managed to shank you. Well, we could do this as an experiment. Well, I don't think it would damage you, would it? Find out. Nope. <laughs> Did you just look down and check you weren't bleeding? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> oh, if I shot you, though, it would probably do some damage, obviously. Oh, yes, <laughs> that would that, that, yeah. Or go with something else you want to experiment with. Hold on a second. Oh no, that's mean. Oh no! <laughs> can I can I like stop it? Like if I run away? Little Hugh moved and the handcuffs fell off. All oh, right, see, haha. All right, you can you can actually handcuff me if you run off. I'll stay still. There you go. I'm See you later. Me, no! Struggle. It just, it, it just says you are restrained. Yep. Struggle. Alright, okay. Like that? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't have... Because I, I have no other way of taking them off. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> <laughs> you could have told me that! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, the other thing that I've just noticed as well is <coughs> the tab next to me, it goes, all my items are in the vicinity, not on my person. That's right. And you've got to do that for a couple of minutes now. You could have picked a safer location than in the middle of the fucking runway though. Yeah, well, you know, I've got a gun. Will I actually come out of these? Yeah, eventually. Well, Gatto did when I, when I handcuffed him. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you could have totally been off with all my stuff now, like, by oh, now. Oh, yeah. I could have executed you. Oh, please don't. Yep. yep. I'm, oh, so gonna shoot, I'm so gonna so gonna kneecap you with my pistol when I get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, struggle! I am! Can you walk? No! <laughs> I don't think so anyway. No, it just says you are restrained. Maybe I should go find some keys. You should probably go try and find some of those. <laughs> you oh will eventually get out. You will get out, because Gado did. <coughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm just pressing, like, WASD. Yep, you're here. struggling. You're struggling. I can see you struggling. <laughs> oh, dear. This is funny. Quick check to see I haven't got keys. Like, like, ten minutes later, I'm still fucking here. <laughs> no, it won't be that long. It won't be that long. I think it's about a minute, two minutes. Keep struggling. Keep struggling. I could force feed you. Can you force feed me nice things? No, I don't have any nice things. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Gatto is out by now. I wasn't struggling for the first little bit though. It is mildly funny though. <laughs> Holy shit man, I really don't know how we get the fuck out of these things. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Can you not let me out, or is it? Do you need the keys? My shadow looks really weird. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm a little concerned that you haven't got out of the uh, restraints yet, because that worked yeah. before. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> um. I'm going to Google it really fast. <laughs> <laughs> to Google! <laughs> to Google and beyond. <laughs> keeps flashing up with you are restrained. Well, you're definitely doing the struggle animation. Yeah, well, I've stopped pressing WASD, WASD now, and I'm still doing the struggle animation. Um, I'll nip along to that uh, two-story military, see if I can find some keys. Alright, it seems to be going quicker. And please don't shoot me. Oh, zombie. Oh, oh shit. I don't know whether you should... I don't know if you should leave me, I'm like totally fucking stranded here. <laughs> what makes it even worse is there's now loads of people joining the server. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm really sorry mate, but the Gatto is out in less than 30 seconds. Keep struggling. <sighs> Uh, back in a minute. Dizzy wiki, how to break out of handcuffs. 
Unfortunately, keys are really bright. <laughs> uh, I should have found the keys first. Ooh, shiny things. Are you free yet? Nope. Oops. I'm watching a video on it. The video is only two minutes long. And I've almost watched the whole video of this guy breaking out with him and I still haven't broken out with him. Oh. How, um... When you put them on me, can you remember what the, what the like damage level was? Oh, didn't With check. Because uh, apparently it corresponds to how damaged they are. So if you put pristine ones on me, I'm gonna be here for fucking ages. <laughs> Oops. Uh, there's no way I can check now. And obviously, no way you can check. I think I can relog and they'll come off though. So give us a second. I'll just relog. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna get you back for that. Yeah, cheers mate. Um it wasn't actually intended to like Yeah, I know, I know, don't worry, I won't really get you back. Well I might, but I don't know how yet. Alright, I'm out. Did you run straight for that two star mil mil military or did you uh I uh, know I looted my way here, but I can hear zombies. What's that? Oh, I've got a red brick. You got that or? No. I hear more than one zombie. That's not good. Are you in the two star mil military? Yeah. Alright, I'm about to come around the corner of the first, uh, of the barracks thing. No, hang on. Those zombies get really confused in that two-story military. There was an air cog in there when it was damaged. Damn. I heard a zombie there. Dead zombie Dead now. Shit. Was there anything in that laundry? <coughs> a few bits and bobs, but it's whether you decide they're important or not. There is a zombie in there, but I don't know where. Ah! Just popped out of a wall. Nice, nice zombie. zombie. Of course. <laughs> because where else would a zombie be but popping out of a wall? I got to oh, hang on, there's another one. That was scary as fuck! <laughs> We do try. Alright, should we go hit that uh, thing and then get the f*** out of here? I must admit, it's getting close to 2 o'clock. I am going to have to go fairly soon. Yeah, alright. I'll log off when you do and I'll go do this work. Then I'll come back and play more Dizzy. 
more DayZ. Oh, I'm making videos at the minute. Oh, really? Oh, yes, you, you are going to be immortalised on YouTube being um, locked up. Ah, uh, but no! <laughs> oh, I'll just have to make sure you record when I get you back. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but... Uh, it's probably going to involve handcuffs, yes, I know. Well, it might. It might. Or... I don't know. I might, a, mind, I might a, mi a minor wounding, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I might just minor, minorly shoot you with the toe. Now, your weapon does sound louder than mine. Fire? Sounds about the same to me, like. Oh, maybe it was because it was behind me. I heard a zombie there, though. Yeah, there, there, was, there were two. Found him. <laughs> Are you doing anything interesting or uh, not? No, nothing interesting. Nah, but I've got to go out. Go. Yeah, these things happen. I'm going to see The Hobbit tonight. The new one. Yeah, I wasn't impressed. Oh, really? See, I really liked the first one and quite a lot of people said that was shit as well. And in case of being shit, it's like, um, some, it's... I've read the book, that's the problem I have with The Hobbit. Yeah, yeah, but, well, I've, I've also read, well, most of the book. I'm, I'm a... A little bit past where the well, I'm a little bit past about where the second movie starts-ish. Well, they just make stuff up. Yeah, well, they add quite a lot of stuff from the um, for JJR Tolkien or whatever wrote some stuff called like I think it was like the Legends of um, the Legends of Middle Earth or something. I found the bag I wanted. Nice. I can hear lots of zombies. Killed the zombies. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they have added stuff to the story. Perfectly good story, and they've added bits to it. Oh no, 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 no. Ah. What's happened? Ah, oh, I thought I'd just lost all of my. Oh no. God damn, why do I. Alright, there you go. Hey. Yeah, I messed up the infantry management a little bit there. So many zombies. Yeah, well, the, the thing with that is um, that, like, he, he, they added a bunch of stuff that is written, like, it has been written about. Um, and I know, like, Legolas isn't meant to be in it either, and he's written in it just because everyone fucking loves Watts' chops, Orlando Bloom. Yeah, it's like someone read the fly cover and thought, well, someone read the book and thought, do you know what? We can do better than this. Jesus. Arrogance of it. No, you can't do better. You can't take a story that is like 70 years old, everybody knows, considered to be a classic, make a movie version, and then add stuff. Yeah. I don't care how good a job they've done of adding the stuff. It's like... This is a story based on The Hobbit. I got annoyed. <laughs> Have you read the other Lord of the Rings? 
series, like yeah. the season three books. Yeah, I've, I've read, I've read the lot. I mean, yeah, I got them for uh, for Christmas, so I'm making my way through them now. Um, but I also got a bunch of other books for Christmas, so I'm actually currently reading the other books. I got uh, a series that I've never even heard of before called the Game series. I don't know if you've, if you've heard of it. No, I don't know that one. Ah, uh, it's like a. It's uh, about this like guy who finds a phone on a subway, and it's like linked to this like crazy game that he can't stop playing once he plays it, and it's like challenges him to do like all this crazy stuff in real life, like nicking cars and people's umbrellas and all kinds of crazy stuff, and he gets points that equate the money. It's it's a bit of a crazy idea, but it's quite good actually. I, I quite enjoy it. Oh, I am enjoying it. It's definitely not as much good stuff in these as there was last time. Haha, <laughs> found a little sight for my pistol. Oh, good damn. I want one of those. really do have to look. Never really use my pistol much in this. They're not very accurate. Pretty much a close quarters weapon. I didn't about realize that you could empty out four magazines that were on the floor without putting them in your inventory. Yeah, you can do. But if you That's put cool. them in if you put them into the same container that has your uh, ammo box, it'll automatically go straight into the ammo box. So if you've got your ammo box in your backpack Yeah And you put the item in your backpack, you then empty it, it goes straight in straight in. Oh nice Well actually, it seems to do that when even when like like I don't have any other spaces in any of the infantry spaces other than in my backpack which is where one of my round things is so when, when I've done it on the floor it's just gone straight into my round box as well yeah. which is nice I'm carrying far too much ammunition. Come and have a look at my pistol then. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's cool. Does it look nice when you look down the sides? Yeah, a little bit. I don't like it how you're aiming at me though. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm moving to one side. I put some uh, magazines in there. By the way, do you need any more 60-60s? Because I've got loads. Uh, I've got three, so no, I'm alright. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh, ammunition. Right, I'm going to find a convenient wood to log out. Yeah, I'm not going to be far behind you. The airfield's got to be the best military spawn on the entire map at the moment. Yeah, it is like... Something I hadn't realised, in these um, bunkers, the there's loot on the top of the the actual uh, sandbag things. Alright. What, like inside the bottom bit or? Inside the bottom bit and the top bit as well. Oh nice. You've really got to look around. That's cool, I, I like... I like how everything's all hidden. Like, I mean, it's just—it's just nice. It's nice that you don't—it's that you don't just run in and it's all like in a pile on the floor. Well, we always used to get—we got to know know where 
the loot piles were, didn't we? So we knew yeah. to look in this corner, this corner, this corner, done, run out. Well, to be honest, I'm getting kind of seem to be getting like that with the buildings. I mean, that might be because all we've hit since I started playing Daisy Standalone is military bases. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, oh, well, well, there's going to be stuff in this corner, this <coughs> corner, under this desk, on top of this shelf. Go. Yeah, you haven't actually, because you've been playing with me, you actually haven't had much of a full on looting experience, have you? Well, no, I mean. Because look here. Was... Come, come back in, come back in, Azag. Yeah. What's that? Oh, nice. Aha. See? That's cool. And that one needs a battery. Ah. Its description is just like a dotted line. Mm. Right, I'm going to bail out. Yeah, I'm sprinting off into these woods and going to log out. Yeah, I'm going to log out here. So, on that note, we will end I, recording. I'll see you in a bit. I might still be around, if, depending on what time you get back. Okay, mate. Yeah, as I say... I want to actually head to Zelenogorsk, because <laughs> that's where I've been trying to <laughs> head for a while. Okie dokie, mate. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, see you later. Yes, as I was saying before, rudely interrupted by my friend. Um, thank you very much for watching. We're going to end it there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you lovely ladies and gentlemen later. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.